So you're thinking about moving to Capel, Texas? Well, why not? Because right here at the George Coffee and Provision House, I uh, just had the most awesome gluten-free pumpkin muffin I've ever had in my life, and that's worth the move in itself. But really, if you stick around till the end of this video, I'm gonna share with you some real estate stats and data on Capel, and also share with you why this is the number one rated suburb in Dallas-Fort Worth. And I'm gonna take you to a couple of different neighborhoods and show you some different price points so you can get an idea what may fit in your budget. And we're gonna get after it right now. <music> This is your first time on this channel and you want to know everything there is to know about Dallas, Texas and the surrounding areas as far as what to do in real estate, then subscribe below and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the current market in Dallas, Texas. And my name is Levi Lassick and my partner Jimmy and I, we get calls and emails all the time from people making their move to Dallas from all over the country. We absolutely love it. And whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, just be sure to give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email, we'd be happy to help you make a smooth move to Dallas. And with that being said, we are in Capel, Texas, which as I mentioned, is the number one rated suburb right now, according to niche.com. And there's several factors for that. As you can see, I'm right here in the center of Old Town, what they call Old Town Capel. You can see, uh, as I mentioned, right behind me is George Coffee and Provision House, which is awesome, a little breakfast spot get some uh, some good bites to eat there look at here look at some of this real estate that they've got going on here if you want to have your house right here in the old city center they've got some really cool options uh, these are newer built but they were built to look older kind of a almost a new orleans new orleans-esque style uh, in some of these but what that's what i love i kind of, i love new construction that looks kind of like much older homes so i think that's a really cool thing you've got Look at this cool little playground right here. And even on right here behind me is, this is the Twisted Root Burger Company, which is a, another great spot. Uh, you can't really see too much, but all around this whole entire square is uh, shops, restaurants, some bars, some businesses, some homes. And they've got a really good mixture where they they have this new construction, but they've made it to look a little bit older, kind of give it that, that good old town feel. They've restored some of these older buildings, kind of like uh, the George Coffee House, a much older building, but that's been completely restored. So Capel is pretty awesome when it comes to that. And the reason, one of the main reasons that Capel is the number one rated suburb in Dallas-Fort Worth, number one, it's got the fourth ranked public school system in all of Texas which is amazing. So if, if you don't wanna pay for private school and you wanna be a part of a great public school system, then Capel is the, the suburb for you. But also it is rated 86% safer than all the cities in Texas. So if you're looking for the safety aspect as well, uh, then this is going to be a great option. On top of that, <laughs> you literally have three miles to get to the Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport. So if you're a commuter, either for business or for travel, then you're gonna have a very, very short commute. That could probably, it's probably a $5 Uber ride if you wanna take Uber, uh, or if you just uh, hop, skip it and jump over there, only three miles to the Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport and only 21 miles to downtown. So you're still in the middle of everything if that uh, you know if you want to go downtown for the weekend or kind of check it out then you're really close to downtown so we want to show you around town a little bit right now and oh the other thing is is this is what we love about texas you can see i just have a regular shirt on and it is literally uh right at probably 68 degrees and it is january january 2021 we're moving uh into the new year and we've got these blue skies, 68 degrees. That's what we love about Texas. You know, if you can make it through three months of hot weather and uh, a lot of sweating, then the rest of this, the year is really beautiful. And I think that's what a lot of people don't truly understand. On top of that, you're gonna get some great real estate deals, which we're about to show you. I'm gonna take you through three different price points so you can see uh, what kind of home that may fit within your budget but no matter what your needs are, we can definitely help you out. So let's go check out the first price point and let's 
go right now. All right, so we're here in our first neighborhood in Capel, and here's the good news. Amazon does deliver here. <laughs> Actually, there's an Amazon distribution center uh, here in Capel, which as I mentioned earlier, this is three miles from the airport. So of course, makes sense for Amazon to have a house here. But you'll see this neighborhood, uh, this is our first uh, price point that we're looking at. Typical uh, traditional brick, a lot of this was built early 2000s as is the case with this house right there. And that's the house we're kind of featuring to let you know that it's a uh, four bedroom, three bath. It's just over 3000 square feet. And so that puts the price per square foot around $156 per square foot. Actually, the average price per square foot in Capel is around 166. So that's just below the average for the city, which is nice because, uh, and this was built early 2000s. So it's, it needs probably some updates to your taste, but it's move-in ready. And that's, that's the one thing to keep in mind. When you find these homes, these traditional brick homes, they're gonna be move-in ready most likely, but the updating could be, uh, you know, could be the main factor that you wanna do, which would be mostly cosmetic, and that's a good thing. If you only need to make cosmetic adjustments, then that would be uh, very simple to do. So now that we know that uh, price point, I was trying to get out of the way of that Amazon, <laughs> that Amazon van as it almost uh, took me out there. So practice safety first whenever you're vlogging around the neighborhoods, all right? But let's go check out the next price point. All right, so we're in the middle of the road neighborhood right now. And this one is pretty cool because, I mean, just not even a block off, you've got the main strip, the main road where I, I've just passed by Zoe's and Chipotle, which if you're gonna eat fast food, those are my two favorite fast food spots. But you're right down the street from Capel High School. And this, the price range in this neighborhood is between six to 800,000, depending on, uh, you know, size of the home and again these these homes actually fall within the the average price per square foot so you can kind of see uh, what the what the homes look like in, in this area and the home that is listed is this one right here look at that isn't that amazing that's a four bedroom four bath about 4,000 square feet and so that puts it right at around hundred and fifty six dollars a square foot which is right in line with the average for Capel. And uh, this one was built in 2000. It's uh, got some granite countertops, cabinets, you know, basically most of the upgrades you're looking for, I think there'd still be some changes I would wanna make in there, but still for uh, 600, and oh, it's listed for 615,000 too, by the way. So <laughs> that's the most important part. Uh, did I mention that? I don't know. Uh, so 615,000, but this just kind of gives you an idea of what your neighbor's homes looks like and the nice quiet area. Again, very, very quiet street, even though there, there's a, a main road right behind me, but you're also down the street from, there's two major uh, parks and, or there's a major park and a major nature reserve uh, in, in Capel area. So you're down the street from them too. It's the, the Andrew Brown East and West Park, uh, which that, features a lot of hiking and biking and then you have the the nature preserve the Capel nature preserve which i think is about 60 acres and that's not too far from here either so and you're still not even that far from old town Capel. so if you want to go to the old town part uh, where we were earlier and kind of check that out you can do that as well so that should just kind of give you a little brief overview of what six hundred thousand dollars will get you again that home was 615,000 and great home. It was four bedroom, four bath, and just at right at 4,000 square feet. So again, right in the price per square foot. Look at this home on the end, pretty cool. So again, you got a nice little roundabout right there that really slows down traffic. And you know, that, uh, that should cover it for this price range. Let's go check out something close to a million. Here we go. All right, so we're at the top end of our budget here, at least on this vlog tour today. If you want to, if you're looking, if you're looking for something a little bit more expensive, then we can always help you find that as well. But I just want you to see kind of uh, some of the homes. Uh, this is close to the million-dollar range, but this is a beautiful street uh, tucked away back here in uh, in Capel, and these homes are absolutely beautiful. Just to kind of give you an idea of what they look like. 
and I'll show you the one right behind me that's currently listed uh, right there. And that one's really, really cool. It is a five bedroom, five bath, 4,450 square feet. And that is right at around $200 a square foot, which is not bad. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, the price per square foot in Capel is around is around 166 that's the average and this home also has a pool and a really really nice backyard you can see all the trees you can almost you almost can't really see the house <laughs> uh, because the like these crepe myrtles uh, are very very well manicured I love crepe myrtles one of my favorite trees here in Texas and uh, but just to kind of give you an idea I mean this house is a little less covered and you can kind of see that these are these are your neighbors if you want to purchase something like that in the area but otherwise you know this is a, a great end uh, there's a little cold or uh, roundabout around here so it slows down traffic and it's just nice and quiet but that's uh, that should give you a little bit better view right there but that's about what 900,000 will get you here in in Capel which is still it's a great home again very 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 large 4,450 square feet so if that's your price range and you're looking or coming from California or New York, then still $200 a square foot is extremely affordable. So uh, that should kind of help give you an idea. And you can kind of see a little bit down the street there, just a little bit, just to kind of give you an idea a little bit more of the neighborhood. So, you know, I hope you enjoyed the homes you've seen today. And now let's, let's kind of recap and touch base uh, and help you understand some of the stats in the real estate market here in Capel. And hopefully that'll help you narrow down your decision a little bit more. All right, let's go. All right, so we're here at the Andrew Brown uh, Park. This is Andrew Brown West, and there's an Andrew Brown East Park. And these are, uh, it's a, two parks that are very, very large here in Capel. Actually, there's over 14 miles of hiking and biking trails, as well as a 1.1 uh, track, kind of like a high school, like a high school track. And then you've got five miles of preserved nature trails actually right back in here the, there's actually a neighborhood where the homes back up on on this uh lake right here and the whole park right there so those don't usually come up for sale very often but uh, that would be pretty awesome right to have to have this huge park in your backyard with over 14 miles of of biking and hiking trails but this is one of the great things about Capel. It also uh, mentioned earlier the 60 acre nature preserve as well. That's not too far from here. And actually this is just down the street from the, from the $600,000 home that we came from, which uh, is right down the street as well from the major hub of Capel, like all the shops and restaurants, uh, not from old town, but kind of like new town, right? Uh, where they've got tons and tons and tons of restaurants and shopping and bars and things like that. Actually, if you check out the map tour of Capel, then I'll show you exactly where all this is in proximity. So uh, we wanted to give you a, an update on the current market right now in, in Capel. The median home value is actually 369,000 and the median rent is around 1350, okay? But 75% of the people in Capel own their own home. Uh, it's the number two best place and best suburb in Texas rated i mean that's pretty stinking good it's number one in dallas fort worth number two rated best suburb and best place to live in the state of texas according to niche.com and it actually made the top 20 for nationwide suburbs now i think that's pretty amazing to make the top 20 <laughs> suburbs out of all the suburbs in the united states but uh, as i mentioned in the intro or the very beginning the fourth best ranked high school or uh, public school system in all of Texas as well. So that's a really, really big draw, especially if you're not looking to pay for private school. 86% safer than all the cities in Texas. And the median income here is actually 124,000. So uh, again, three miles to the airport. If you're a business traveler or a pleasure traveler like I am, then, then easy, easy commute over there. Actually right now we're moving into 2021. There's only 74 homes on the market in all of Capel. Uh, that's a 24% decrease uh, over the last 30 days. Now the population in Capel is only about 42,000. So think about that, 74 homes for sale out of 42,000. That should tell you how 
unoften, is that a word? That inventory moves around here. And even with a 24% decrease, that's a significant drop just in the last 30 days as far as inventory on the market. But there has been 12 price reductions, so there, there's still a deal to be made here. Uh, but it's few and far between as you can see, but there's been 12 price reductions in the last 30 days, which means those homeowners have reduced their home price in hopes to sell. So those are the, gonna be the most motivated ones. Uh, we mentioned this earlier, but the average price per square foot is around $166. Again, Capel was founded, uh, fun fact, in the late 1800s. It wasn't really incorporated until like the 1950s, but you know, its origins go back to the 1880s, which is pretty cool. Uh, we mentioned the, the, all the trails here, but also Capel is really well known for the farmer's market. So every weekend uh, down in Old Town, uh, right, right near there, they've got the farmer's market where all the local farmers bring in their produce and you can get some fresh organic produce that's amazing. So you gotta check that out. That's like uh, one of the things to do here at Capel. And you know, that pretty much sums it up. If you've lived in Capel, by the way, comment below if you've lived in Capel before or you live in Capel now and you're just watching this for fun, you know, please comment below and let us know what you like to do or maybe some other fun tips for some of the people that are thinking about moving here. That would be very helpful to them. And also comment below if you would like to see some other neighborhoods that we could tour around for you. So. You know, that pretty much sums up Capel for us today. We hope you enjoyed this. Again, it is January. I'm in a long sleeve shirt. It's about 68 degrees, sunny. That's what we love about Texas. You gotta come for the weather, but that sums it up again. We appreciate you taking some time with us to check out Capel. Again, whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, be sure you give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. We'll be happy to help you make a smooth move to Dallas or the surrounding areas. Until next time, we hope to see you around town and bye for now.